If you took a look at my YouTube or Instagram account, you would never guess that there are things that drive me nuts about my STI. Just FYI, there are. After about a year of ownership, I can fully appreciate its annoyances. Here are the five things that I hate about my STI. If you follow my channel, you'll quickly realize that the first thing on the list is the rattling. After about six months of ownership, goblins ventured into my car and made everything rattle. I mean everything. The front rattle, the door rattled, the rear seat rattled, the trunk area rattled, and of course right below the rear windshield was the biggest culprit. That piece of plastic danced like it was at the club. Finally, I snapped. I bought $500 worth of rattle trap and sound insulation material and got to work. I took apart the doors and laid it down thick. One area fixed. The trunk came next, followed by the rear seat, and finally the entire floor. There's still a couple of parts of the dash that rattle every so often, but not constantly. If things change, the dash is coming out. Number two, speaker quality. How much does it really add to the car's overall cost to put a decent set of speakers in the car? $100, $200? Up until I owned the 2018 WRX, I had no idea that speakers could be made out of paper. Boy, was I wrong. I bought an auxiliary cable because I thought that my Bluetooth was not functioning properly. When I upgraded to the SDI, I had better expectations. Again, I was wrong. I think they just upgraded from letter to cardstock when they made these speakers. Needless to say, new speakers are in my foreseeable future. Number three, it burns oil like its purpose is to destroy the environment. I've never had a thirstier car. Sometimes I think it confuses engine oil for gasoline. How much oil does a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine need? A lot, apparently. I guess the air oil separator is in my near future as well. I'm not 100% sure if the F needs it and the EJ does it or vice versa or both need it but it couldn't hurt. The next two things are just things that bother me but might not bother others. Number four, it just feels underpowered. Yeah, when you're pedal to the metal and having fun at four to six thousand rpm, sure you get that thrilled but below that I would expect more. I guess that's why everyone instantly gets that access port and starts with the upgrades, opens it up a little. This car with 400 horsepower would be the absolute perfect vehicle. Stage two or three, here I come. It's not a sub $40,000 vehicle anymore. With all the upgrades one does, you start creeping up closer to 50. And finally, number five, it has too much visibility. I know, safety, but it literally feels like you're at a fishbowl. Until you get used to it, the first time I drove the WRX, I felt like I was on display. I've driven two Corvettes and a Jeep Wrangler, and each of them had just enough visibility any lower and you'd be in trouble. The Jeep had bad visibility? Yes, the SDI has way more visibility than the Jeep. There's really nothing that can be done with the exception of tinting the windows, so add that to my tab too. <laughs>